Okay, so I have to make a machete for, I have to make two machetes for the show that we're having on Friday. By the way, today's Tuesday, um, and I just want to show you guys how I'm going to knock that out. Okay, so this is me at my computer because I'm actually going to use my laser to cut this out. These are for sale signs that I got from Home Depot, and uh, they're just simple plastic, and I could cut them with scissors, but I have a laser. I have to make two machetes, and that's a lot of tracing, and laser has made me lazy. But I will show you how easy this stuff cuts with scissors in a minute. Um, but basically, I'm just taking the graphic. I just need the blade, the handles that I'm going to use. Uh, a yardstick. So I take the blade and I'm going to just copy it and set it up and then I'll trace this in the laser program and then it'll just cut that line. Now we're in the laser program. Trace image, pink lines to trace. There it is. And now I go to the laser. It's cut. Great. This is my laser. It is a Thunder, uh, Thunder Laser Nova 63. It's a big boy. Um, and now I just hit start. I apologize for the handheldness of the earlier footage. I haven't quite gotten set up yet. Here I had to move the laser a little, move the plastic a little bit. Yeah, so you can kind of see the laser. I've got a close pass coming up here soon. The distance that it is away, you saw me measure that in that previous clip. Uh, it's got to be five millimeters away for its ideal focus, but I can cut so many different things on this. It's a very useful tool. This is the big one, but I do a lot of making stuff, so, you know, I might use a big one. And uh, I'm cutting four blades, four pieces out, and I'll use two for each machete that I make, one for each side of the blade. And I'm going to sandwich a yardstick, and then I'll use EVA foam for the handles. Look at that sweet laser action. Grab a good pair of scissors that'll cut through this stuff. Do you need the laser? No, not at all. This is the sign material that I'm working with. These are just good scissors. You don't need a laser. But if you have a laser, why not use it? So here you can see how I'm doing this. And this one I'm doing with super glue. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, the next one I actually did with hot glue but it's a special hot glue for plastic. And you can see I just put it on there and I left that yardstick in there as a nice spine. Uh, so it's got a good, you know, good blade. Now I'm tracing from EVA foam scrap and that's gonna be my two sides of the handle. That'll make a good grip. Here's where I break out the uh, hot glue gun. And uh, now it looks like a funky version. I'm taping up that handle. And this is HVAC, uh, tape. This is actually duct tape um, and it has, uh, it's made of metal. It's like uh, aluminum tape type stuff. And you get that in the HVAC section of Home Depot and get the widest roll you can. This is about $25. Um, yeah. So this looks massive in my hands, remember, but the guy who's wielding this is uh, huge, but there is no wiggle to it. This isn't, this, there's no wiggle in this. This is a nice solid machete that uh, they can use in the show. Uh, this would really hurt if you hit someone with it, so don't do that. 
as promised. I'm showing you the whole thing again while I make that second machete. I'm going to go ahead and do the tape first on this second one. I'm going to try to apply this with as few wrinkles as possible. I'm not good at this. I don't have this type of patience. So this time, I actually put the uh, pink foam down so that I could not have a bumpy table underneath. I got plaster on the table, all kinds of stuff. So using the foam helped me get this one a lot smoother. Uh, it just worked out better. So sorry for all the fan noise. We've got fans going in the shop to uh, filter the air. But this one's coming along. You can see how easy it is. And I'm cutting this about an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch over. And I'm just allowing that little edge to crush down. Okay, I think I did a better job of that one than I did on the other one. more layers of tape is going to make it look better. That's how it is. I'll do the handle on this one, then on the spray paint. Every time you trace, you get bigger because the pen is on the outside. So I've got to trace inside of this line to keep them the same size. Once again, electrical tape for the handle. I'm going to wrap this tight. It's doing some compression. Take a little, just a scraper of some kind. And I want there to be lines going this way, because that is how they machine the machete blade. Like that. That's a little extreme, but it's not crazy. I've seen uh, blades that are worse as far as their uh, look goes. And now I'm misting it just to knock that down a bit with just the chrome. Okay, so here's number one, here's number two. Less seams in number two. I got two of these bad boys done. I did a slightly longer handle on number one. I'll give this one to the bigger handed of the two guys. But I hit them with a little bit of rust spray paint which is brown or orange. I'm going to use a patina uh, stained brown on these, this guy here. That's going to just simulate a little bit of rust, a little bit of elements happening. I'll put a little bit heavier down by the handle. two machetes. If you had two machetes, you could put your machetes over here. You could put your machetes over there. 
You just keep those machetes coming. Go make stuff. This is where I will shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Um, these guys are awesome. They support the channel. They, uh, you know, help us keep going. Um, we do so many different things here, and uh, Patreon helps with all of that. And we're about to do some crazy stuff, and I'll take you guys with us on that journey. But I'll do shout-outs here in the future. I'm just waiting to hear exactly what they want me to say and get permission. And the best way to dry a machete... Swing it around! <laughs>